at the 11th hour. Spain is threatening to derail the whole Brexit process over the disputed peninsula of Gibraltar. Madrid has long laid claim to the British overseas territory attached to the Spanish mainland, and now they want a say on its future decisions after the UK leaves the EU. The British Prime Minister is confident they can work things out before EU leaders are due to approve the withdrawal deal on Sunday. Last night I spoke to the Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and I'm confident that on Sunday we'll be able to agree a deal that delivers for the whole UK family, including Gibraltar. But the Spanish Prime Minister isn't so sure. In a tweet on Thursday evening, he said the two leaders were still on different pages. After my conversation with Theresa May, our positions remain far away. My government will always defend the interests of Spain. If there are no changes, we will veto Brexit. He wants a clear statement in the withdrawal text saying that London will have to negotiate directly with Madrid on all issues related to Gibraltar post-Brexit. The peninsula's chief minister has accused Spain of seeking to force the issue and said it didn't need to use a veto to get Gibraltar to cooperate. The fourth largest economy in Europe does not need a whip to get the smallest economy in Europe to sit round the table with it. Spain doesn't actually have the legal power to block the Brexit divorce deal, as it only has to be agreed at EU level by qualified majority voting, meaning 20 of the 27 member states. Even so, the EU is seeking unanimous approval on the document and is reluctant to press ahead without Spain's blessing.